Hey everyone, this is a quick video showing you how to change the file name of a recording in OBS. This works for general recordings as well as replay buffers. So to change the file name of a recording, what you need to do is make your way to settings. And if the settings option isn't available for here under controls, just make your way up to file settings. And then once in the settings menu, make your way down to advanced. And in the advanced section, make your way to recording. So my default file name formatting is year, month, date, followed by the hour, minute, and second that I started the recording. And you can make any option here. You can see there's different variables that you could select, uh, but I'm gonna keep the one I have because I actually enjoy that. Now, you can also set it up so that your replay buffer has a different file name. It's always, the replay buffer is always going to follow the file name formatting of your general settings. You can just have an extra bit of information on the replay buffer. Unfortunately, at this time, you can't have two separate folders. Uh, I wish you could have your general recordings go into one folder and your replays go into another, uh, but that's not currently an option. So what I do to avoid uh, losing replays in the mix of my files, I have it so I do the normal formatting, file name formatting, and then I end it off with the word replay. So I could actually do anything here. I could do uh, replay, I could do buffer, I could do clip, it doesn't matter. And so it's gonna be this information. So if I were to take this video today, which is January 17th, 2023 at 7 to 6 p.m. That's the video file name is gonna be saved like that, followed by the word replay. So if I wanted the word replay to be in front of the file name formatting, I would just copy and paste this over here or whatever word you want, clip, clip dash, this information. I don't personally like that because I sort by the date. And if you put the word replay before, it's going to sort the dates first, the general, files first, followed by replays dash dates. So personally, I like to do replay last. So it goes the full date followed by the word replay, it makes it easier for me, but you can do whatever works best for you. And then I'll go ahead and show you what the file looks like in my folder. So we have this video, which is what we're recording right now. And then we have three other videos we've done. And then one of these is a replay. So I have here, this is a replay. So this is a clip that I took. Uh, in the past, when I had the replay first, I would have a little bit different. So if I had replay first, these three videos would show up before this video, and then this video would show up right here at last because the word replay, it's, you sort it alphabetically, it's gonna sort the dates first followed by the word replay. So this is my way of uh, avoiding that. And so that I now that I know the order that I created these clips, this was the first clip, second clip, third clip, fourth clip. So it's easier for me to organize and manage if that makes sense. Hopefully it's not confusing. Uh, but that is how you change the file name of a recording in OBS. You can change it to whatever you want. Again, I like it to be the dates. It's just easy for me to sort and filter by, uh, but you can do whatever default you want. Again, that was a quick video on how to change and customize a file name in OBS. I hope you found this quick video useful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next quick video.